Georgia, located at the intersection of Europe and Asia, is a country with a proud past and a developing future. Today, agriculture and the food sector are key to its success, contributing more than 9% of GDP. Georgia enjoys a rich cultural heritage and its people share a love of good food, firm evidence of which can be found in the nation's wine and dairy produce. But milk production in Georgia faces many challenges. A study conducted by FAO and EBRD in 2014 concluded that Georgia lacked the commercial producers capable of supplying high-quality milk to meet growing domestic demand. But the report also identified that milk productivity could be increased by over one-third by simply helping existing dairy farmers learn and implement new methods of production. The case for training and transformation was clear. And the crucial first step was to bring all industry stakeholders together. Today most of the local market is made up of small farmers who do not have the necessary set of skills or the knowledge to produce high quality efficient milk and it's crucial to have this kind of process and this kind of knowledge sharing in order to get the industry slowly up to the standard which is required by the local processors and the local customers as well. FAO and EBRD's comprehensive study suggested that simple improvements such as better feed and fodder production, improved animal health, welfare and farm management, as well as hygienic milk handling, could in fact improve the productivity of dairy milk farming by up to 35%. Of course, any meaningful change would have to come from within Georgia's dairy community. So, inspired by a similar programme in Ukraine, Georgian dairy farmers were encouraged to join forces, create an association and together embarked on a number of field visits to commercial dairy farms elsewhere in the world to witness modern practices at first hand. And in early 2016, a modular training programme was introduced. The main goals of the training programme was to teach Georgian dairy farmers in new methods of dairy production. We explain how to develop vaccination program and control infection diseases. The training program is spread across the country and aimed at all existing dairy producers, regardless of size. To complement these efforts, the FAO and EBRD program also involves promoting investment into new farms. In the past couple of years we've seen an emergence of several uh, high efficiency farms. One of them is our biggest sourcer which makes up about 30% of the milks we, we procure. The establishment of large-scale commercial dairy farms has not only required investment but has involved the introduction of new methods, new management and new protocols. However, change on this scale brings significant challenges. At the beginning milk procedure was a big issue. It was a big problem. And as time went along and we brought a doctor and the doctor was here once every two months and he was working with a young vet and explaining, explaining them uh, the importance of uh, milking procedure and what should be done. And it's something that you build up. It doesn't come once you said it, okay. It's not uh, shoot and forget. It's something that you have to work on it. Also, you can see it on the mortality rate of cow. At the beginning, we had, first year, we had 20% mortality rate uh, calves, up to 2 months. This year, we had 2.3. Altogether, this improved situation. Interval between calving, everything is improving now. If uh, six months ago, we had uh, four insemination per pregnancy, now we have three insemination per pregnancy. But if similar progress is to be achieved across Georgia's entire dairy sector, then it's not only the larger farms which must embrace change. Good news then that smaller dairy farmers are beginning to implement new methods of production, even in Georgia's more remote and mountainous regions. Ukraine's visit is shamdek 
ყოველ თვის ვაძლე ვერ და იგივე რაოდენობას მასის მიხედვით, მაგალითად 10% რაზეც ჩვენ გქონდა საუბარი ორი თვის განმავლობაში. აგრეთვე ვაძლე კომბინირებულ საკვებს მაქვს ცოტა მშრალი თივა და შუა დღესაც კიდე 2 ლიტრამდე წყალს ვალევინებ, რომელსაც ადრე აბსოლუტურად არ ვაკეთებ. Small scale farms such as this one also benefit from having the capacity to produce the right type of feed. Helped of course by having the right equipment. Ა შევცვალეთ წველის მეთოდი, ხელი წველიდან გადავედით მანქანურ წველაზე, საწყის ეტაპზე ძველად ბანს ცურს, შემდეგ ვამშალებთ 50 ნუ იქ ერთი და ორი წვეთი იმას ჩამოვაგდებინებთ, მე რევარ ვარგებთ ცოცკეთ და დაახლოებით 5 წუთის განმავლობაში ვწველით ძალის აბსოლუტურად სუფთა არანაირი შიგნის დაბინძურება და ის არ ხდება და ჩემი აზრით 10% გვაქ სუფთა რძე. Such progress on small scale farms provides encouragement that everyone across Georgia's dairy sector can benefit, big and small as the program begins to bear fruit. Proof perhaps that with all industry stakeholders working together, Georgia's dairy sector can afford to be ambitious in the future. This farm wants to go to 1,200 cows. That means altogether 2,500 animals. That's a big operation and it's a big dream. It will take, I think, a couple of years to uh, do it. Of course, we will go to a bigger uh, milking parlor uh, with a milk analyzer online, with better software, with larger machines. But basically, it will stay the same. Cows, land and milk. That's it. <laughs>